Hey, this is Mike. I'm going to show you this 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. It's got the hard top and it is, the color is called Copperhead Pearl, which is really interesting looking. Hopefully you can see in the video. It's really, I wouldn't say it's really orange or anything like that, but it just, it's one of them colors where it's hard to describe, but you have to kind of have to see it. And since this is pearled, it uh, kind of changes depending on how the light hits it. So this one has alloy wheels. It has a tubular steps there on the bottom has the black car top black fenders and these right here are priced pretty good this one doesn't have too much bells and whistles it does have the nice wheels and a lot of features but it's in a really good price range so we'll go ahead and open this up and when you do open it up, make sure you have enough room to have it fully swing out so that way you can open up your glass there. And then you got a nice open space to put stuff and a good head clearance here so you can walk right up to it. Put your stuff in. Here's a bag for putting your your I guess you could say T-top parts in the front. You can there's a three-piece top. You get the back and the front up they basically come off in sections so I'll show you that a little bit in the front but here's the back now we do have a reversible mat here it does have the carpet on one side and the rubber on the other side depending on what you want to carry and underneath here you've got a little hidden storage compartment and underneath that is your tools and stuff for changing the tire There's the back, back of the back seats. Now those seats will fold down. I'll show you in a second. As far as your child seat latch, uh, anchor latch is right there. There's the latch. Not that one. That one. So just make sure you get that right when you put it in a car seat. And these Goodyear uh, tire, Wrangler tires that they have on these Jeeps, they really have a good tread design. Um, it's like they're smooth on the outside, but once you once you dig your fingers in, there's lots of uh, traction there. It's pretty neat. There's a tow hook on the back. The fuel cap is on the driver's side, which is convenient. It does have four-wheel disc brakes. Let's go ahead and check out the back seats. Now here's the inside of the front back door here. Not a whole lot of stuff on it, just a handle, your door lock, and this net pocket. Your window control is right here in the middle right above your cup holders is your window controls for the back back seat drivers seat goes down headrest will kind of just kind of flop back and then that way in case you need some more room now this is a 60 40 split to where you can have some passenger some extra cargo space um, depending on what you need that side will fold down just like this does have heated side mirrors here's the inside of the front door just like the back uh, you have your door lock controls your net there handle but pretty much a plain plain door um, and I think it's because the, these doors are removable they do have a, a pin they can that you can take the the doors off so they want to have the least amount of electronics and switches in the door here that's my um, my take from it and you can see this top comes off and these these parts right here this piece and the other side will, will come off separately so if you want to just um, it's real easy but you can take them all out by hand you don't have to need any tools for these the back part does require two pieces in it that requires some tools all right so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in
and these hard tops are pretty quiet I mean going on the highway and stuff they're really quiet compared to like say a soft top especially the older soft tops you got a little latch there 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 and there and then you take these little you unscrew these here to take your actual tops off these t-tops then it has the bag in the back to store them while you're driving and the bag actually actually straps to the back of the back seat and then that way yeah you can still have your storage space back there it's a pretty neat design all right so here's the the steering wheel we'll go ahead and start with that it does it's leather wrapped it does have a nice quality feel to it a good thickness you have your cruise control settings here on the back of the steering wheel I can turn the volume up and down on the radio on the back of this side I can change through the stations or the tracks on the CD so we do have some stuff there while you're driving on the highway you don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel so I'm going to turn the volume down right here you have um, there's your gauges and this buttons here kind of steps through some different information right here like right now the vehicle is facing west to 77 degrees outside um, distance till empty which is 135 miles before you have to put gas in it estimated time so you got a little bit of information here not a huge you know like touch screen or anything like that but it does give you a little bit extra inf information and you control that right here with the, these buttons all right it does have a tilt steering wheel no no telescoping though Let's turn the air conditioner vent the vents are pretty easy to manipulate you can close them like that open them and just grab them and turn them and aim them where you want preferably not towards the camera okay all right here's the window sticker gonna just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like so up here on the dash we've got the little storage compartment there here's the radio it does play CDs and mp3s right here um, this is kind of a real basic radio but it does have an auxiliary input to where you can plug in an iPod or anything to it to play songs off of it there's no satellite radio uh, it's just an AM FM CD radio there's your window controls for the back and the front here's your climate controls pretty basic fan speed temperature and where you want the air to blow right here is a little joystick for adjusting your side mirrors and then you have a trash control you can turn that off as the default is always on right here is a downhill descent button and if I'm not mistaken pretty sure that that's only for it's not for dry pavement it's for loose gravel or slippery roads going downhill kind of helps you out there's a power supply 12 volt also known as the old cigarette lighter there's a net pocket there there's a little storage pocket there and there's your four-wheel drive shifter there's your automatic shifter emergency brake cup holders and they have these little Jeep symbols pretty much all over the place I don't know if you can see on that corner Let's see if I can zoom in so you can see the corner of the glass you got like a little Jeep climbing out They kind of have those, they have them on the wheels and all kinds of little places, but right back here behind the rear view mirror, you got like a little Jeep symbol. All right, here's a center armrest, and it also opens up, and you have, um, actually have a storage pocket here with a power supply, and it also has like a shower, a shallow pocket here, I guess, to put like a cell phone or something. You have your two switches right there. 
and it is lockable so if you do have the doors off or the the top down or whatever um, you do have some level of securing your stuff and the glove compartment has a lock on it as well got a mirror here on the visor same thing on this side no lights auto dim rear view mirror it's a nice handle there let's have a dome light there's your hard top that's what it looks like out the back and let's look underneath the hood oh so used to looking underneath the dash wranglers do not have a hood switch they have these little switches these little latches I mean this up it's pollen season so pollen gets everywhere so excuse the mess there it does have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 there's your battery and you'll notice there's this the engine's color coded to where you have uh, yellow, places in yellow or places that you would check on your own can't really see a whole lot it seems like the trend nowadays is to cover everything up with plastic so you can't see the engine but that's the way it is all right go ahead and replatch it there you have it if you have any questions uh, my name is Mike and my phone number and email address will be in the description see you next time